That's very compassionate of you. <laughs> yeah. It's a gerbil. You can have emotional attachments to that gerbil. He could be scarred for life. You're, you're tempting fire there. You don't know when a non-healing fire is going to come at you. But you already said you don't have one, so don't worry about it. <laughs> True that. Okay, um, so I assume you guys are going to set watches for the evening. Are you going to heal up before you rest, Tone? Yes. Uh, how much healing does the wizard need? Uh, wizard's fine. I just need one hit point, and it's not really worth the spell. Alright. So Was that your last spell? Yeah. Let's see. Did third faith healing? I still have one more spell if I counted right. Right? Two level ones. Two for being level one, then two domain spells. Uh, yeah. What's your wisdom? Oh, you have a low wisdom. Yep. Yeah, so you should have one for 12 wisdom, one for first level, and then you should have two domain spells. Um, but your domain spells you can't use for anything but your domain stuff. Oh, really? Well, then I can't heal myself. What did you pick as your two? Oh, you only have two domains because you took the law devotion. And any one of them wouldn't help heal me, so. No, but what are the spells you get access to? Uh, they're all lame. Isn't one of them magic weapon? Yep. That would have been really effective against the skeletons. Why? Because a plus one weapon overcomes bludgeoning. It doesn't? It does. In what world does it overcome bludgeoning? In my world? Well, then, yes, it would if you play by made-up rules. All the rules are oh, made up. You can't know all those made-up rules. No, that's totally fair. But, yes, I, I do have magic weapon. I do believe by the oh, rules uh, a magic weapon overcomes uh, mundane yeah, damage reduction. Yeah, plus five. Is it at plus five? Yes, it's the only way to overcome stuff like that. Oh, I've never heard that rule. It's like a ridiculously high amount, like high end, because at that point you shouldn't be having to worry about bludgeoning, I guess. I have always used the uh, damage uh, redux uh, system from Monty Cook, so... Because there's actually a plus one uh, enhancement bonus, you can, or plus one bonus type thing, equivalent bonus that you can give to a weapon, where it changes the type of damage it does, whether it's bludgeoning, slashing, piercing. What's that called? I've never heard of that. I'd have to look it up. It's in this magic item compendium. Oh, wow. Okay. The other feature of magic weapon is it makes the weapon plus one to hit and plus one to damage, which would have been helpful. Then at least one attack, you did a 16, and if you'd done 17, you would have killed it outright. But you spend an entire turn casting it. No, that's absolutely true, and it only lasts for a minute, so it would only be for the first 10 rounds of combat. Unless you have something that boosts up your casting level. 
Nope. But after the first big fight at the doorway, you had a couple of minutes you spent in that other chamber when you were looking at treasure and stuff. So you would have had an opportunity to cast it then. Hoping we would run into a fight in 60 seconds. No, well, you no, were you progressing were. slowly like you thought you were going to run into a, a fight in 60 seconds. I well, it, it does have a use, but it definitely, yeah, it definitely needs, like, level 5, it becomes a little more useful. Nope, that's fair. It also is more functional when you have a larger party. When you are not the frontline fighter, it's a lot easier for you to take a round to cast a spell before combat starts. But when the skeleton moves up on you, you can just five foot back and cast your spell as long as you haven't taken any damage. But at any rate, um, who is taking first watch? I guess I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, I should take the two in the darkest of the night. That Sorry. makes sense. So I take like the, the first you can one take, four. Yeah, you can, can take you the take... first and fourth. Okay, that works. Okay, you can roll a perception check if you're. Uh... Okay, I will move up a little. And you can roll another perception check. Oh, wow. Um, you actually hear him coming. That is not how it's done. Uh, well, that so. is how it's done. There is something approaching from the west. Okay. I kind of poke toe on him. Yo, wake up. Uh, what is it? There's there's something from from the west. Go use your dwarfy eyes and look. My dwarfy eyes see a skeleton. Cool, cause I can't see it. You guys need to pick different colors. You said we need to pick different colors. Yeah, you're both metrosexual green, and uh, just can't tell who's using what. For some reason, Fear picked clear. <laughs> That's even less useful. <laughs> I'm going to draw all my pictures in clear. There you go. Jesse, never to have his masculinity undermined, goes pink. Okay, then it is initiative as the uh, skeleton continues to close on you.
What a fucking shit storm. Okay, uh, so he moves up and he attacks you, Fear. He's on me, right? Yeah, he moves past... Um, Oh, Tom, you're flat-footed at this point, so you don't get an attack of opportunity. And he misses you spectacularly. He misses you so much, he gives you a hug. No, he's a good boy. You know what I do when I leave the cave? I go and find a stick or a club. <laughs> I'd like to just pick up one of his bones. Okay, well, it's your go. Uh, I, uh, I stab him? No. Yeah, I. No. I shoot him. That's almost a hit. Exactly. Uh, Tom, you are still prone at this point. Um, I assume you wear light armor so you can sleep in your armor. You would assume incorrectly. Okay. Why wouldn't you sleep in your armor when you're out in the wilderness and there's no penalty to it? Because it's not light? Oh, you're wearing scale mail? I, let me look here. I got it. You only have DR1. That sounds like studded leather. It might be studded leather because when I bought the great sword, I couldn't afford better armor. Yep. I think when we first built your character, you took scale mail and then you decided you wanted the great sword because it did so much more damage. trying to find it on my sheet i don't remember where it is um should be at the top where your ac is it'll say dex and then sl if you're wearing studded leather yeah it says sl okay right. Over will be. so you are negative for attacking while prone i think right. prone you're minus four hang on i'll check Uh, negative four, it sounds right, uh, but likelihood of me hitting with a negative four is pretty low. And you'll uh, still be prone next round. Yeah, you can... Next opportunity could put me down right here, right now. Well, that, is, that is true. Uh, you can stand up as a full round action without provoking. I do need to turn to the bathroom again. I'll be back like two minutes. Okay. You know what? I'm going to just risk it and take the attack of opportunity. Okay. So you grab your weapon and stand up? Yep. Oh, oh. he nails you. It's Come on, minimal damage. Not quite minimal. Definitely not minimal. But it doesn't kill you. And it technically makes you stronger. Now Jesse basically has to die in order for the skeleton to stop attacking him. Or I need to kill it first. That too. Your brave uh, wizard has no, or sorcerer has no spells left, so he's not going to help you. If he was smart, he might do something logical like flank it. But we know that's not going to happen.
Okay, I'm gonna hit the bathroom real quick while we're waiting for Jesse to come back. Jesse takes some monstrous shits. He is the king of fecal matter. So, let's see here. Did you guys end up fighting Libu? No, uh, we fought the image of Libu, uh, a sol soliloquium of him. That was the yeah. thing where you saved our life by stealing the gem. And we talked to his girlfriend and tried to convince her to not um, fight in this war. But Did you talk to her twice? No, we only talked to her that one time you were there. Okay the time i was there i was there for that yeah i really wish i had done the talking in that situation i didn't realize nick was gonna fuck it up so badly yeah i i didn't help so much with the talking since we i had already done basically what we did uh so i didn't really help with that one so much uh because it seemed unfair to know be like oh i know this failed last time so let's not go that route so i let them come up come up with their own plan and that didn't work either yeah i hear i heard you guys really uh screwed the pooch on that uh, we did all right uh, <laughs> the well it's was a little kind when lee boo came to retriever but we did have he he's not lee boo's never not very bright at least he doesn't see through lies very well so we were able to bluff our way out of the situation oh wow but then we ended up fighting him a couple sessions later uh but I'm back we did here. wreck the town. Yeah, we flooded the, the city too. Yeah. Not only did we flood the city, we got our hands on this uh, seed of corruption thing. And so we corrupted the water before sending it down. So that town is extra fucked right now. We blew the dam completely and uh, put the, the whole city under like six feet of water. Yep. Uh, we did the same thing. It just, it was corrupted water. So it started giving everyone diseases and started killing them. Yeah, that, that's very good of you. I didn't say it was good. Your paladin and went along with that? He wasn't around at the time. He missed like a month of the game. Oh, okay. Whenever you're ready, Jesse, you can roll initiative. Did you see the fact that I uh, had charmed that red horse? I can't remember its name. No, I did not. Ah, uh, 
yeah, I, I put, I, I, I thought I sent it to you, but yeah, I, yeah, he's now my friend because we stole it from Lee Boo when he ran away and I charmed it. So it'd be my friend. So now I ride around on that horse. He's pretty badass. That's pretty awesome. Lake mentioned that the, that he was super pissed at you guys. Like we took uh, the capital city and captured the emperor and the war is basically over now. Um, Libu is just surrendering or running away or doing whatever Libu does. Whereas he said, you guys, he's fighting to the death because he hates you so much. That's fair. I mean, we did try to, in that battle, we did try to kill his wife and then we stole his horse. Fair enough. Okay, what are you hey, doing, Fear? Um, um, no. Um, I'm just gonna try shooting him again. So that's plus one, so I did four damage. That's it. No, you did one damage. That's it. I'll five foot up here. Okay. So the skeleton will follow you. I assume a 12 is a miss on you? Uh, yeah, 13. Just barely. Okay, um, then it is Tom's turn. Swing and a miss. For some reason, you didn't go to the flank position? That would be a of opportunity. I can't take another one. Well, you can double five foot to the south, or you can five foot out and then go south. You're lit up, but you're not five saying anything. Foot. What's that? You can take a five-foot step as your move action and a five-foot step as your swift action. Or you can just five-foot to here as your swift action and then move around to wherever you want to be with your standard action, or with your move action. But okay. the end result is the same. Still a miss, but yeah, I'm in flanking now. So that's better than nothing, I guess. Yep, and it might encourage your wizard to actually take out a uh, melee weapon and help you flank. Okay, then it's initiative. Fifteen, there's a hit on the wizard. Rake. Okay, TPK, everyone has two hit points. Go Fjord. Uh, I am just going to go stab him, drop my crossbow, and just try to stab him. Oh. Uh, I crit uh, with a short spear. Okay, roll your damage. So, I actually might have just killed it. Yep, that's more than enough to kill it. You do seven points with your crit, and then another four on top of that. Okay. I did something. Yay! Oh, 
me for doing things. Okay, so you guys, uh, I assume we're going to continue resting. Yeah, at least try to. Okay, so you rest until morning, and then you uh, can uh, level up. Okay, so uh, roll hit points like normal? Yep, you have two options for hit points. I always suggest rolling at second level because you get a free reroll. Fury, you roll a d6. Oh, I thought you said d8 when I re first rolled. Okay, that's fine. No, I would have had six hit points there. Uh... No, oh, wait, I'm just an idiot. I have a con of 14, that's why I. Yep, I know. So you can, uh, you get one reroll per character for uh, a D6. I almost always suggest just taking average because average is four. Um, the average on a D8 is five, so you rolled average. doesn't really matter. Um, normally, you just save your reroll for when you roll a two or a one or whatever. Are you going to use your reroll, Fjord? Uh, yeah. Can't do much worse than a two, although you can technically roll lower. There you go. So, how much health do we regain? One per level? When you rest, you get half your level, which in this case would be nothing, plus your con modifier. So you would, I think you get back three, and Fear gets back two for the rest for the night. And then in addition to that, you get your new hit point total, which would be another eight for you. So Fear, you would be down four hit points in the morning. Oh, I put it. I put it in the wrong. Don't forget to change your bar tone. Your total, I think, is 19 now. Well, well, this seems like a fitting situation to take Disrupt Undead. Oh, you get a zero level spell at second level? I get two spells, don't I? Well, look on your spells known table. Yeah, I get a zero level and another zero level and another first level spell at level two. Nice, okay. Don't I get two spells a level? No, that's a wizard. Okay, how does the how does it work for so every time I get a new spell? Oh, spells known right there. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I get to new for zero level and a new second first level. Yeah, both your known go up. And both of your per day go up. So you get an extra zero level spell known and to cast, and an extra first level spell known and to cast. Uh, second level as a cleric gives you an ex the same thing. You get an extra zero level spell and an extra first level spell to to cast, and you can pick. You get to add two more spells to your spell book for each level. You both get uh, plus one to hit for your base attack going up, and saving throws increase for your good save. And I think that's most of it.
Oh, Cleric gets turning undead twice a day at second level. Sorcerer gets absolutely nothing at second level. No, third level is the big one. So well, every one. odd level is a big one for you. Every odd level. I can't wait for immolation. Oh, you get your bloodline power? Uh, at level 5th level, yeah. At every odd level I get uh, <clears throat> bloodline power. I get wings at 7th. Yeah, those bloodlines are pretty awesome. Okay, you good to go, Tom? Yeah. You guys going to heal up before you head back in? I'd like to heal. Uh, I think I'll take another hit before I heal up. Not even a zero. Now it does four points. Now I'll leave it as is. Okay. I believe your wizard requested some healing. Ugh, fine. It's not like I can only take one hit now, Eric. How many hits are you he's got at? more hits. He's got more hit points now than he did when he started. How many hit points are you down? He's down four, so he just needs a cure minor. And that I have to roll. How much back? He hasn't rolled yet. Uh, one other significant thing is now that you're a second level cleric, you uh, automatically destroy skeletons. So you, you're turning undead becomes much more powerful. Just a moment, guys. No worries. 